Hey, hope you're doing well out there. I wanted to give you a couple of ideas today when it comes to the TMJ. There's two really neat techniques that you can do at home right now. Um, and keep in mind that um, as we address some of the soft tissues, also consider your upper neck and your cervical spine because often the two have to work together. Your TMJ joint and your neck have to work together. Um, and we address that factor here in the office being your, your cervical spine. And now some of the ideas that have worked really well for patients at home for home care um, is using your knuckles and using your finger. So the first one I'm gonna do just like this, is just find your cheekbone and fall off of it. And open slowly, get your three knuckles as you drag down, maybe to the count of five. And that would be one rep. The other thing that's really useful is just take your finger like this, your middle finger, and find where that void is when you open up your mouth. And there's a bit of a divot and things drop in. And I want you to very gently push to the right side, push up to the left. And just breathe there. You probably have a trigger point in there, breathe from your stomach. When it gets a little bit easier, then you, you've done your job and you can move on. So with that, you may want to make you know five to seven passes down, and then do the trigger point one, which seems to be um, helpful to patients in the past. Anyways, let me know how you make out, and don't forget your nervous system and your spine is a factor as well with your TMJ. The two have to work together so you can work at your best. Anyways, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.